yellow wire isn't required to make the light work. It's there to protect us from getting shocked. It's a ground wire, and it's usually green or yellow in the US. If faulty current occurs, the ground wire will trip the circuit breaker and prevent an electric shock by neutralizing the charge. It must be connected to the fixture itself to work, so we'll place it over a hole in the fixture, then secure it with a screw. So now I have to attach the three wires from the floodlight to the three wires from the extension cord. The floodlight manufacturer says blue is neutral, brown is hot, and yellow-green is ground. I know the configuration of a typical U.S. outlet. Top right is hot, top left is neutral, bottom circle is ground. Now looking at the extension cord, we know that the green is going to be the ground wire. The smooth brown wire is going to be hot, and the ribbed wire is going to be neutral. We can prove this by doing a continuity test. So now I know I need to connect the yellow wire to the green wire, the brown wire to the smooth wire, and the blue wire to the ribbed wire. Instead of soldering these wires together, I used heat shrink solder tubing. When heated, the silver part in the middle melts, fusing the wires together. At the same time, the blue glue melts, forming a watertight seal. <laughs> 